Well, this looks different. Welcome back once again to the Minecraft Alpha. Woohoo. And look, I can hide my HUD now. I can get those cinematic screenshots that I've always wanted. We are now on Alpha version 2.0 underscore 02 the nether update or the or, or sorry the halloween update which adds the nether some mobs blocks fishing and even biomes as you can tell by here it doesn't look as vibrant as it used to kind of makes me depressed but as always i've done some uh, resource gathering and stuff since the last time come here i need food at some point in the next few episodes i'm gonna build a fishing hut out of bricks all right because I, I i don't usually build out of bricks and so we're gonna have it there with a little dock and then we're, we're gonna we're gonna try fishing out and then at some point even later we're gonna have this is where the animal farm is gonna be not the mob farm but the animal farm Ow! I've built a lot more of that perimeter wall as well. Here's some footage of me building it um, just a couple days ago. But today, I want to focus on the big thing of the update. What is that big thing? The nether. Which is exactly what this room's going to be. We're going to have the nether portal here. It's it's going to go into the ceiling a little bit. But and then what we're going to do on this top floor, I don't have a clue. Uh, well, I think I said like a lounge or something. But I need like a design document for this entire world. I also found some more diamonds. So I have a solid nine diamonds, which we're going to use to make a pickaxe right now. Some sticks. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, oh, my first diamond tool in this world. Diamond pickaxe. Write this one down in the books, boys. But first, we need to obtain some obsidian. And because I've been doing a little bit of mining, I actually did like a like a strip mine thing. And I found some lava at the bottom of it, a big lava pit. So I can get my lava just straight from there instead of this. In my Ugh! Christ on the cross. As always, I'm going to wait for the daylight just so I can go outside. Oh, gotta, gotta face my demons. So if you can see all the way down there, there's a big pool of lava. And if I get some water, chuck it over the lava, we'll get obsidian. Just need that beautiful purple rock. Oh, something's on fire. That was that. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm just gonna die. This is a no death run. Right, so if I do this, does it just turn to obsidian? Oh, and it does. And now we sit here for 45 minutes, mining up the purple rock. The funny purple rock. Ooh, there's still, there's still some lava there. Mind, in case you didn't know. I was made for this. I was made for this version of Minecraft, let me tell you. It shouldn't take this long to destroy obsidian. Have you seen how long it takes to destroy redstone in this as well? I'll, I'll have to show you after this, because that takes a sweet time. Like, huh? Okay, that's enough. Thank you. I think 12 is enough, right? Ah, beautiful day in my in my misery of a landscape. Like, it's so dark and grim now. Oh, I got two too many. Oh, that's okay. It's always nice to have some spare uh, obsidian. And now it's got that flint and steel going, huh? And then you do a bit of that, and a bit of that, and how do you make a flint and steel, boys? I need to look up a guide. The iron goes on the top, and that goes there. Oh, beautiful. Ugh. There it is. There's just one concern I have, and I just thought about it. What if I come back from the nether, and and the portal just puts me somewhere random in the world? Because it, it does that sometimes. It doesn't take. It doesn't always take you back here. Okay, so I've just done a bit of exploring. And I'm pretty sure that this is the spawn of my world. In other words, I didn't travel that far. So worst case scenario, if I die, I'll only end up here. That's absolutely fine. But what my issue is, is where I'm going to spawn when I come home. <laughs> there's a creeper. There's a creeper. Not today, sir. I'm all right. Thank you. Stay behind the perimeter wall, please. Good job. Good boy. My diamond pickaxe, you stay right there. You are going nowhere. Oh, oh I don't even want to go in, man. Oh, by the way, they've added sunsets in it. Oh, man. That's beautiful. All right, let's go. Come on. Oh. We're in, boys. We're in. Okay. I mean, yeah, it, it's definitely it's definitely the nether. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Get some of this glowstone while we're here, yeah? Oh, wow. It gives you one per block. I can use this to build some, like, street lamps and stuff. Can you calm down? Big baby over here is crying his eyes out. Shut up. Wah, wah. Is it angry at me? They're not that, like, 
hostile in, in normal Minecraft. They're, they're quite tame, actually. Apart from when they try and blow you up. Shut up. All right, all right, all right. Oh, there's the pigman down there. Right, I'm gonna leave a trail of torches, just like in the overworld, just so I don't lose my, uh... My bloody portal. Got some of this netherrack here. They look, always look like corned beef to me. Like I, I, I don't know why. It's just that's all. Oh no! Coming here was a bad idea. I'm staying in this hole. Okay, uh, let's just focus on getting some netherrack before we uh, venture on. I suppose wherever we're going. There's no nether fortresses in this. It's literally like th th this is it. All right, nice. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. Uh, maybe just decoration or having fires in my world. Oh, soul sand as well. That's that's also another good one. No, you don't. No. Right, pigman, we're friendly, right? We chill, we good, we good. There's, there's a lot of them. Oh, rest in peace, man. Oh my, so loud. I mean, what is there to get here? I'm, I'm not building a bridge over lot. Hi. I'm not building a bridge over lava. You can, you can forget it. Oh, <laughs> is that all they do is scream? Oh, you just killed you just killed your friend. Well done, good job. Oh, oh, you can't hit them back. You can't hit them back. Come on then, come on. No, I can't do that. Okay, hang on. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by them. It should be alright if I just keep moving. No, he's he's fallen back a bit. He knows his place. Forget making an infinite lava source. They're gonna just come here. Nice to meet you too, man. Oh, no. No! Oh! I'm going home. No, oh no. <laughs> I can't do it, I can't do it. I'm going home. No, I'm good. I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm leaving. I probably won't come back. I mean, I'll come back for the... Oh, I need, I want that glowstone, man. Because, wh what? What am I going to make out of this? Four blocks. Where am I going to spawn? Please take me home. Please take me home. Please take me home. Please take me home. Oh. Oh, my God. Thank God. <laughs> I mean, that's convenient. So, all is well in the end. All, all is absolutely fine. It is absolutely fine. Right, so, how, how many glowstones can I make out of this, then? Oh, don't tell... Oh... Oh, right. Okay. I I see how it is. Oh my god, I was right. <laughs> Literally four blocks. Let me go choose where to put my four blocks of glowstone. Let's put two next to the door, maybe. Just to give it some. Give it some. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's quite nice. You know, I've played Minecraft for like well over a decade. I mean, who hasn't? But I'm still yet to figure out how the Nether portals work and why they spawn you in different locations every time. Right, so there's my netherrack that I can do what with exactly? I, I don't I don't know. No, I'm stupid. I forgot. I've literally got netherrack to decorate the room above me. There's only one problem, though. I can't have any fire in this house. Otherwise, it's all gone. Okay, so we're just going to build like a, like a you know, ni nice little platform for the for the netherrack to, uh, to rest. There we go. Oh, yeah. Just to make it look like it's bleeding into the into the room, you know? And the two glowstone, I might put that. Um I didn't mean to put it there. Oh. Alright, it's staying there. Screw it. One there and one there. Okay. Uh wow, this looks uh, terrible. <laughs> actually. Just one half of the room and then normal. We'll get more nether blocks. I I'll I could probably get soul sand actually. Should I, should I go back in and get soul sand? Oh, it's like I never left. But the I hate my life. I hate myself. I hate myself. I really don't like myself. Don't die. Don't die. I'm dead. There we go. There's my first death. There it is. Because I stepped in a bloody pool of lava. I, oh my god. And I'm back to nothing. I told you, man, that this is too risky. And don't tell me my stuff's burnt as well. This video has not gone well. I've pussied out of going into the nether. I burnt in the nether. I've made four blocks of glowstone. Oh, my stuff's fine. My stuff's here. Where's my stuff? Oh, thank god. It's literally gone everywhere. All right, put on the boots, put on the trowel, put on the t-shirt, put on the helmet. Nothing stops me. Nothing stops me. Where was the soul sand that I saw? Oh, all the way down there with the ghasts. Okay, all right, all right, relax, relax. I want to hit one back to you. Give me one. Come on. Okay. I almost just hit one. <laughs> that could have been bad. Right, can I make my way down there without, um, without deceasing? Come on, come on. 
Oh, you're lucky. Oh, hang on. There's, there's, there's like a cave system. Do I have to? I do have torches. Hang on. Oh, here we go. Right, here we go. Look at that guy hiding down there. Are you scared as well, man? This soul sand is harder to get than diamonds and emeralds combined. I'm hoping this just takes me to a patch of soul sand that I can just harvest, get out. Like an extraction shooter. You get your loot, you get out. I mean, I am going deeper and deeper, so... There's gotta be something, surely. No, it's just th it's taking me in a circle. Are you kidding me? Oh, forget it, forget it. Next time, next time. I, 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 pr I promise next time I come to the nether, I'll get soul sand, alright? Just, just not today. I, I, I've seen enough, I've seen enough. I'm scarred. Lots of pigs here, lots of food opportunities, lots of mm, culinary, my culinary desire. Got some delicious, delicious grub for the family, for me and my my spider and creeper and zombie family. And here's where the food's stored. <laughs> it's got a chest full of steak. You know what, just, just to sort of wrap up the episode here, I think we're going to start building uh, some of the bridges. Oh, I know what I can do with this room. Once we get to like beta 1.0 whatever when they had beds this is where the beds are going oh, I, could just, I, could, I could just make a bed is there wool in this like dyed wool do i just make a fake bed and just put it there anyway look at them all wait i've got what the hell is that wait i've got two out since when easy does it don't want to fall here into the imagine falling into that the pack of creepers yeah it's only gonna be like a, like a small little bridge with, with like a glass um sort of dome do the same on the other side here, just so it's nice and symmetrical. It's almost like having wings. Nice view you get up here, though. I mean, you can see the perimeter wall coming along very nicely. I still need to reach it all the way out to the, the coast. And then probably just reach this part over to this bit of mountain over there. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're gonna have, like, a smooth stone sort of base here. But the only thing with smooth stone is I can't just, like... You know, I, I gotta put a wood block and then smooth stone. Because if I destroy smooth stone, you know, okay, and then maybe we maybe we take it out a couple blocks, so two, maybe, maybe two blocks, and then we go diagonal again, like bush. Honestly, I'm I am just making this up as I go along, and just make it a big like circle going around, and maybe have like two floors to it. Maybe what am I gonna do with these two floors? I I, I don't know. I just I just this is how I want it. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid idiot. Oh, I know what this could be. This could be the observation deck. That's beautiful, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we've got one out. Like that. And then another one out. Two. Three. Very weird shape, but I'm, I'm doing it anyway. Alpha Towers is expanding. We're giving it wings, just like Red Bull. And then take it in one more time. Let me say one more time. Oh, beautiful. I should have an axe with me, but I don't. I'm very unprepared in this alpha playthrough. Okay. Like I said, very strange shape, but I got no one else to blame. I am the architect. And I, th I think I'm just going to make the walls look similar to these walls. Just so, just so it fits in with the theme. And we'll have this room as like our observation deck. Nice little thing. Have a few couches in there, a little table, maybe some bookshelves if there's any in this version. And then on this side, I think that's where we're going to have like the bar slash sort of club. <laughs> the mile high club. <laughs> that's what we'll call it. Oh, yes. Okay, good. We have we have plans. We have plans for this world and it's, it's, it's coming together beautifully. Question is, does it look stupid from the outside? Yeah, it looks pretty stupid, but it's, it's temporary. So what I'm going to what I'm going to do uh, off camera, I'm going to... Uh, duplicate that, put it this side, maybe start the foundation walls. I, I won't go too far with it because obviously I want to I want to record it. And then I think next episode, we're, we're just going to have a nice chill episode, right? We're going to build our fishing hut. We're going to do a bit of fishing and possibly try and find a new biome or something or maybe even build some more of this. I don't know. But thank you for watching my first time going into the nether in alpha. That was scariest Minecraft experience I think I've had. Like, that was, that was horrible. That was terrible. And this has been it from the alpha house. And, uh... We'll catch you in the next one. Yeah.